I just came home. I'm hungry and I've got some canned salmon. There's some other goodness going in there as well. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen as usual. Quick recipe, we're going to be using canned salmon, but we're going to spice things up. We're going to bring up that flavor. Some curry and some other good things, man. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Let's get cooking on this quick and easy curry canned salmon. You're going to love it, man. As I said, this is going to be very, very easy and simple to put together very fast. I've got a nice big pan here on a medium-high heat. I'm going to go in with some olive oil. And the longest part here is uh, creating that sort of lovely curry flavor base that we're going to be using to really spice things up. Vegetable oil, some onions, and I've got some finely chopped garlic. All the ingredients I used will be mentioned in the description of this video. I'm just going to give that a quick stir. And all you want to do is sweat that down for about two or three minutes, low heat, and that's going to help create that base we're looking for. Next up, we're going to go in with that curry powder, and I'm using a Madras blend out of the Caribbean. You can use your favorite curry powder. My heat is still on low because what I'm doing here now for the next two minutes I'm just gonna toast this curry powder and you've seen me done this uh, a number of times before and all I'm doing by toasting it is releasing all the spicy goodness pretty much awakening it up all those spices which makes up that curry powder. So let that go for a couple minutes on low heat. Your kitchen should already has that have that wicked scent of good curry coming up at you. Boy, it's smelling good. Some black pepper. I'm gonna go in with about half of a scotch bonnet pepper, and that's totally up to you. You can cut back if you want. You can add more if you want. I didn't put any of the seeds in there because I don't want to, it to be overly hot. Then straight out of a can. going to break this up. Try not to overwork it because we don't want it to get too mushy. Give that a quick stir. Pick up all that lovely curry on the bottom. Raise the heat to medium high and we really want to just bring this up to temperature and infuse the pieces of salmon that I have here with that lovely curry base that uh, we, we created. Right away, we're going to go in with some Caribbean green seasoning. That is totally optional. If you're looking on a recipe for a recipe on how to make a Caribbean green seasoning, check CaribbeanPod.com or right here on this YouTube channel. Then, some diced up tomato. And again, when you're working this, try not to break up the salmon too much. But do break up, I mean to say, you don't want overly big pieces, like this piece here would be too big, right? Let's break that in half. And finally, some green onions or scallions. As soon as it comes up to a boil, let that, put the lid on there and let it simmer for about three minutes. Turn your heat down to low. After about four minutes or so of simmering away, I added about three tablespoons of water to it simply because I'm going to be eating this with rice and I need a little bit of gravy. Final thing I'm going to go in here with, I've got some lime and this is just to brighten it up a little bit, take that little bit of that fishiness out of it, some fresh lime juice, turn my heat off and that's it. Rice, roti, bread, mashed potato, it's just you know, a very versatile quick dish and an excellent side dish. In under maybe what, seven, eight minutes, we have a lovely curry salmon. I mean, it's, it's from the can. So not only is it cheap, number one, it is very fast to put together. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Do give this recipe a try. Don't get tied up with the whole can thing because 
it real nice trust me the wicked for days you're gonna be loving this one you're gonna be going to it and I'm saying my Caribbean people you all know about this already you're gonna be going to this one whenever you come home hungry you're in a rush you want to prepare yourself a nice little something reach for this one always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me check out CaribbeanPot.com and remember you can also now get my cookbook the vibrant Caribbean pot on CaribbeanPot.com have a good one guys